Hello, and welcome to This Week in Animal Rights. In this episode, we look back at the week of January 13th, 2020. These are some of the stories we are following. Last year, California's ban on the sale of commercially bred animals in pet stores became law. On January 1st of this year, Maryland's ban took effect. Now, lawmakers in Colorado are trying to do the same under new legislation introduced this week. Pet store bans work. Nebraska Department of Agriculture records show that half of the state's commercial dog and cat breeders have gone out of business, with a breeder there admitting that Midwest breeders were hurt by a California law that banned pet stores from selling commercially bred puppies, kittens, and rabbits. In addition to hundreds of cities that have done the same, that should intensify because of the second statewide ban in Maryland. If Colorado is successful, and then other states do the same, we can not only curtail even more abuse, we can ensure that more people turn to rescue and adoption. Kitbull, Pixar's masterpiece about a feral kitten and chained dog, was nominated this week for an Academy Award. It is well-deserved. While any human with a heart will be touched by Kitbull, for no-kill advocates, its emotional impact is heightened by how accurately it reflects back the messages we have been working so hard to instill in the American public, including that community cats deserve compassion, not death, and that pit bulls are just dogs and those exploited for fighting deserve a second chance. Kit Bull shows us that the time has come to institutionalize the American public's love for our nation's neediest companion animals. And in a democracy, we do so by giving those collective values the force of law. Or, as in the case of Denver, eliminate those laws that undermine our humane values. It's been illegal to live with a dog identified as a pit bull in Denver, Colorado since 1989, but under a plan to be considered by the city council, that may soon change. A council member says he believes he has the votes to phase in legal pit bull ownership through a breed-specific license program, which would also allow them to be adopted from local shelters. It is not a full repeal of breed discriminatory legislation, as other cities have recently done, but it is a step in that direction. The New Jersey Senate unanimously passed legislation to allow courts to order an advocate to be appointed to represent the best interests of and seek justice for an animal in any proceeding regarding the welfare or custody of an animal. The bill now heads to the Assembly for consideration. An employment tribunal in England has ruled that ethical veganism is a protected class under the Equality Act of 2010, which safeguards people from discrimination for their deeply held and religious views. The case involved the alleged wrongful termination of a man who claims he was fired after complaining that his employer's pension fund invested in companies that test on animals. Communities are reporting their 2019 sheltering statistics, and the numbers in many of those are looking better than ever. The shelter that serves Charlottesville, Virginia, for example, reports a placement rate of 97%, the highest it's ever been. They noted that they pushed themselves as an organization to increase adoptions, transports, and pet retention, and all of their hard work paid off, proving that the no-kill equation works. And finally, new legislation introduced in Virginia once again seeks to put PETA and other pet slaughterhouses in the state out of the killing business. Senate Bill 304 would require shelters in Virginia to maintain a minimum 50% placement rate, or lose their ability to purchase, possess, or administer sodium pentobarbital, the barbiturate PETA and others use to kill animals. PETA's killing has claimed 39,276 known victims, including healthy puppies and kittens, often killed within minutes without ever being offered for adoption. That's it for this week. Visit NathanWinnegrad.com to subscribe to my YouTube page and for more information about my film and books on the no-kill movement and other animal rights topics. To be a part of the discussion, please join me on Facebook.